Good morning, everyone. I just mixed my lye. This time I did it inside, and the wind is blowing that way. My fan is on, and we're going to get to soapy. We're going to dive right in today. I did a lot of the prep work and talking in the last video, so check out my other videos. But today we're going to dive in and start making the pine tar soap. My sugar, we're almost there, guys. It looks like we're that partial Vaseline stage. The top was Vaseline. Vaseline, but once you went deeper, it wasn't. So I need to let this cook a little bit more. If you notice, this batch did not have all the all the volcano action that the other batch had. This is a smooth going batch. Not as fluid as I would like, but not as thick as my spinach batch, so that's good. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer and we'll be right back. This soap cooked quite quickly. It did not volcano like it usually does, so that's a good thing. We are done. I did a zap test and there's no zap, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our super flats. I, when I do my pine tar soap, I add the pine at the end. So here's my pine tar, shea butter, coconut oil, and some other things. I can't remember, I don't have it right in front of me at this time, but all my super fat is here. So I'll go ahead and add it at this time. And then I have infused olive oil I'm going to add four ounces of that and then I have some vegetable glycerin on glycerin in here. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up really good. Let it sit for a few more minutes. And then I'll be ready to mold this batch. Okay, as we're waiting, I promised last time that I would be closing one of these, closing the opposite end so that I can have my batch, since I know how much goes into the batch. Since this is a, a six ounce bar, this will make 24, 25 bars of soap. 
and my four ounce bars, it makes 50 bars of soap. This batch is 144 ounces of oils, which is nine pounds. So it's gonna give me the perfect size bars. The other batch was 10 pounds. So it was perfect for four ounce bars. Okay, time to start. Stirring the sepsum so I can mold this batch. Well, actually I need to put my central ones first. Okay guys, hey, I'm back and we're done. So a few things I noticed with the pine tar soap. One, although I left the water in the soap, the whole amount of water, there was no water discount, the fluid was, the batch was very thick from the beginning. And I don't know if it's because that's my first time master batching and the turmeric soap was my first batch from the master batching and this is my last batch from master batching so I don't know if maybe there were more harder oils towards the end versus at the beginning maybe there were more softer oils this is my first time master batching so I put all the oils together and I blended them and I separated them and even before weighing it out to do the different batches I blended them again with the stick blender so according to myself I thought I blended it appropriately but apparently maybe I didn't blend it as much as I should have so I will definitely know by the time the pine tar soap dries I'll, I'll compare it to the turmeric soap and see what the difference is and hopefully there is no difference um, because that's 10 pounds of soap so hopefully it comes out with no problems Two, I noticed that I was calculating my batch according to the oils, so I thought that this batch that I made of the pine tar was not going to fill up to the top, but I had not only to, not only did I fill it all the way to the top, but I have a little bit left here. So when I'm Calculating my batches for my mold, I need to calculate everything. The super fats, the sodium lactate, or whatever fluids, the pine tar, I need to calculate that and really have the full amount of what the whole batch is going to be with everything. So that's why I have so much extra of the pine tar, which is fine because I give a lot of samples of this too. This is part of my samples for people that really have skin conditions that they want to work on so I give it to them for them to try at home. I don't make any claims but it's the bomb. So that's what I use on my face. That's what my kids use on their face and that's what I recommend. This batch had so many different things in it at the end. Um, it's a very it's a very soft batch but Let's see what, the, what it's going to look like. This is still soft, but I want to test this out and show you guys the lather. And the bubble. So this is what we're working with. 
And I actually have people use it in their hair too. I have an Instagram account where I show a picture of using it in my daughter's hair and it was amazing. I use it in my hair. It's an all around amazing soap. So here it is and we'll be back for the cut. See you soon.